Welcome to the first part of my Grim Fandango playthrough. I'm really excited to play this. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. Just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. Mm. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. Yeah. What journey? The huh. four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, sir, so it could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try huh. a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Ah, I hope I mm -hmm. hope it's the train. Ah. Well. Wait. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. The Excelsior. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. The community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks, you dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, man, so... <laughs> hey, Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Yeah, yeah. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with plans like that. Hmm. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time. I'm <laughs> stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Huh. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Read him already. Didn't help. Huh. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. I couldn't play this card there. I couldn't play this card there. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Looks like I got a message. Looks like I got a message. See here. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. All right. Whatever you say, Iffy. Hmm. Not portable. Hmm. Not picking that up. Not picking that up. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity. Domino Hurley didn't exist. It wasn't too long ago that the name on that door was Supply Closet. Hmm. Read him already. Didn't help. Anything else here? Uh. 
Oh, that's my spam bun. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Dang it. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I keep meaning to mark these cards. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don oh, wait. Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Iffy. Yes. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Let's go. to see nothing else to get for here huh this looks this is this is great this looks r real good this game Service! Hey, who the- Oh, what? 
didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Crap. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Hey, you a driver? Me? Huh? No, 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 no. I don't ride them, just rent them. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just to fit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Huh. That won't help it get signed. No, looks like I have a case. Okay, looks like I have something to do. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Uh. Domino's door is locked. <sighs> Let's save here. Uh. Let's see. 
Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. It's locked. There she is. The number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. <laughs> the little skeleton bird. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Oh, 
I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. See. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. I think I figured out. Oh, darn it. Just got this game for my birthday. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Let's try this. Let's try to. Let's try to do this. For the. For. Let's try to get this permit signed. Ah, oh, great, Zeva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Hmm. I guess. I guess that's a yes. You'll have to excuse him, Mammy. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Yeah. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Oh, I guess my side. There we go. Bam. Death is coming. Death is going here. Nice bathroom. Uh, you're 
dead. Sir, you're dead. We offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest on that it. Aye, aye, aye. Uh. I could make this car a little faster if you want it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. Yeah. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Well, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, Yay. wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I but, gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey, now you're blaming the no clients? Offense. I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out. Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile, and a whole lot of time to kill. Uh. Who are you calling a scumbag? What are you on? A Shut up. <laughs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. I got to that fair. I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Okay, what was that? Huh. What's down what's over here? Can't reach. You won't turn and the door won't budge. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. 
a walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Ah, how do I get in this there? How do I get to the parade? This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. Explain your job to you again. No, but I'd like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fad days is none of your business. You know the rules. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Mm. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Huh. Another achievement. 
Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. I know. Hey, door's open. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Dang it. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Hmm. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Well, that's all I wanted to ask, for now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. Douchebag. Oh, sorry. Well, See you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Douchebag. No use for it. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Well, my comic books are in Hey, here. Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Go cry in my office now. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. The clown ripped me off. I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. I don't want to reread the old files. It would just make me sad. Oh, what did I miss?
something. of this. 
special ceremonial bread. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Huh. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. episode so see you next time